What's up everybody, my name is Vince, welcome to the channel. Today, we're working with some steel here. We gotta weld up a little something. It's gonna dazzle, dazzle your eyeballs when it's all finished. But, I learned a long time ago that, yeah, it looks great when you watching someone else weld, you say to yourself, wow, it looks like fun, look at that. But a lot of the hard work goes in before you ever pick up that welder, in prepping the material. And Flex has a whole bunch of new bonded abrasives that will help you with prep and actually finish and cutting and all kinds of stuff I want to share with you right after this message from our sponsor, VCG Construction. Want to help out with the channel? Head on over to Mercery yeah, Hats, Hoodies, T-Shirts, link will be down in the description below. So a lot of people think you just pick up the old welder and start welding, but you can't because if, if you don't have clean metal, the welds won't stick together. It's like glue. So we got to take all this scale off before we could ever weld anything to this. This is Flex's 40 grip pad. It's good for 13,300 RPM. I don't think anybody that ever puts a pad on a grinder actually looks to see like, oh, my grinder's going 14,000 RPM. I can't use this pad. People just put it on there. But um, this is their, I believe this is their 40 grit, four and a half inch. It's perfect for prep. <laughs> And make no mistake, I never claim to be melting metal with Anthony, who actually, I watch his channel, he has like a mobile a welding business where he goes out. A lot of times he's fi fixing uh, heavy equipment and stuff. It's a good channel. Next up, and we're pretty much descaled. We're gonna be gusseting up this eye to receive some bolts. Uh, here in the middle to keep bolts from spinning here in the center. You'll see what I mean. You know what I didn't get? Didn't get a tape measure. So to gusset this up, we're gonna need a piece 20 and 7 sixteenths out of this stock. It's just three quarter, three quarter inch thick steel. Flex has a whole new line of bonded abrasives. This is called their razor slice. This is the five inch thin kerf. I'm interested to see how quickly it can make this cut. Frankly, this is nothing to sneeze at. Is that, is, that, is that even a saying? I will tell you that the new razor slice did a commendable job. And I'll leave this in place so you can see it before I move it. Look at how thin the kerf is, how little material was removed from the workpiece to make that slice through that three quarter inch steel. We're welded down to the table. Tell you what, for a horrible welder that I am, my tax really penetrated. Five and three quarters. Five and close enough. In addition to new standard sanding discs, Flex came out with this new segmented style. It actually has cutouts in the sanding media. Now, if you're new to this type of work, you might not understand why there is segments in here, but think about it. We're going to 
grind down or, or sand down our weld here. So we're in the process of finish work. Now watch this. You can see I was able to grind down with this segmented wheel to exactly the depth that I needed. I didn't need to move my grinder away to resurvey my weld and my piece of steel. It's perfectly flat now. Now here's the deal. Because I'm not the best metal fabricator and uh, welder, Flex also has these awesome grinding wheels. Let's see if we can take down this little high spot so I could get an even better finish. Dude, that grinding wheel, it's not segmented like this sanding or flat disc is. I couldn't see my work. I removed too much material. That's why this comes in so clutch. Watch. You know what they say, if you at first you don't succeed, you know, try, try again, and try again, and then try again, until you get it perfect. You gotta just fill in a little bit more material here. You know, I, I could make a mistake, like, you know, that last run, <laughs> I didn't fill all the material necessary because I was trying to push my puddle instead of pull my puddle, because pushing the puddle would look better on camera, but, you know the things I sacrificed for the very cool gang. We have our weld. Let me finish this thing off. You can see exactly the correct amount of material removed more rapidly and efficiently because of that segmented sanding disc. And if you like having visual aids to help you to get your work done, then smash the like button. It's free for you to do. It doesn't cost you a dime. Plus you'll get seven years of good luck. Also, if you know a good welder like Melton Metal Anthony that wants to do a collaboration and teach me a thing or two, let me know down below. And go over to his channel and let him know too. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for being here with me today, and I hope to see you all on the next one. I gotta go prep up and finish up the other side now.